Since the inception of aviation, from the humble beginnings of the first planes taking flight to modern marvels exceeding expectations, aircraft have continuously shattered barriers once thought insurmountable. The United States of America, among other countries, has created breathtaking aircrafts that showcase the pinnacle of human ingenuity. Now, when it comes to their incredible capabilities, which of these aircrafts are unparalleled in military prowess? And how do the best fighter jets compare to one another? Join us as we reveal how America has created the first ever invincible fighter jet compared with other fascinating aircrafts. The F-22 Raptor. The F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation multi-role fighter developed by a collaboration between Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and General Dynamics. This powerhouse of a plane is designed to take on a variety of missions, from engaging enemy aircraft to providing cover for troops and striking targets from the air. First things first, let's talk about its capabilities. The F-22 Raptor is the first fifth-generation fighter to enter service, and it's a real game-changer in the world of aerial combat. With a maximum speed of 1,499 mph, it's one of the fastest jets in the sky. Regarding firepower, the F-22 is armed to the teeth with a 20mm M61A2 Vulcan cannon, capable of spitting out rounds at a rapid rate. But that's just the beginning. It's also equipped with air-to-air -air missiles, including the AIM-120C AMRAAM and the AIM-9M Sidewinder, giving it the ability to take out enemy aircraft with precision. But it doesn't stop there. The F-22 can also carry Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM, corrected bombs, allowing it to strike ground targets with deadly accuracy. And if that wasn't enough, it's compatible with precision-guided bombs like the GBU-39 and SDB-53B, giving it even more options when it comes to delivering firepower. One of the most impressive features of the F-22 is its ability to launch missiles and drop bombs from internal compartments while flying at supersonic speeds. This not only reduces its radar signature, but also allows it to maintain its speed and agility in combat situations. In addition to its offensive capabilities, the F-22 is also equipped with advanced sensors and avionics, allowing it to operate day and night in a variety of weather conditions. This means it can conduct missions in even the most challenging environments, ensuring air superiority wherever it goes. The McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. This aircraft is hailed as one of the most successful ones ever built, and it's still going strong in the U.S. Air Force. Introduced back in 1976, this powerhouse of a plane isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It's set to remain in service beyond 2025. With nearly 1,200 F-15s produced, it's safe to say that this bird has made quite an impact in the skies. But it's not just the U.S. that's flying these impressive jets. F-15s have been exported to countries like Japan, Saudi Arabia, and Israel, among others. These aircraft have been a staple in air forces around the world, showcasing their versatility and reliability. Originally designed as an air superiority aircraft, the F-15 later saw the development of the F-15E Strike Eagle, an air-to-ground derivative. This expansion of capabilities made the F-15 even more versatile, allowing it to take on a wider range of missions with ease. When it comes to armament, the F-15 can carry a variety of weapons on its 11 hardpoints. From Sparrow and Sidewinder missiles to 120mm MRMs and drop bombs like the Mark 84 or 82, it's equipped to handle whatever the mission demands. And let's not forget about its 20mm M611 Vulcan gun, which has helped it achieve over 100 confirmed aerial combat victories. That's no small feat. The Eurofighter Typhoon. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a versatile fighter jet that's been making waves in the world of aviation. This aircraft belongs to the fourth generation of fighters and is currently in serial production, meaning it's being manufactured on a large scale. Now, when it comes to where it's being used, the Eurofighter Typhoon has been put into service with the air forces of several countries, including Germany, Italy, Spain, Great Britain, Austria, and Saudi Arabia. It can fly at a top speed of 1,150 miles per hour. One of the most interesting aspects of the Eurofighter Typhoon is its engine. According to an intergovernmental agreement between Great Britain, Germany, Italy, and Spain, these countries agreed to jointly develop and manufacture a new generation engine for the Eurofighter. These modular engines can be dismantled in just 45 minutes, making maintenance a breeze. But here's where it gets cool. 
The characteristics of these engines allow the Eurofighter to cruise at supersonic speeds without needing to use the afterburner. This means it can maintain high speeds for longer periods without burning through fuel like crazy. However, it's worth noting that tests carried out in Singapore revealed that in hot weather conditions, the maximum non-afterburner speed with a combat load is around 798 miles per hour. Still pretty impressive, but it shows that environmental factors can impact performance. The Su-57 The Su-57 is an impressive addition to the Russian fleet of multifunctional fighters. This sleek machine belongs to the fifth generation of fighter aircraft and packs quite a punch in terms of performance. This aircraft can fly at a maximum speed of 1,516 miles per hour. Now, the Su-57 was designed to replace the Su-27 heavy fighter in the Russian Air Force. It's larger than the F-22, but smaller than the Su-27 in terms of wingspan and length. And when it comes to weight, it likely falls into the category of heavy fighters, just like its predecessor. But what really sets the Su-57 apart is its advanced capabilities. It's inconspicuous, meaning it's hard for radar systems to detect. Plus, it can cruise at supersonic speeds and maneuver with high G-forces, making it a force to be reckoned with in aerial combat. One of the most intriguing features of the Su-57 is its ability to operate with artificial intelligence or an operator in unmanned mode. This means it can be controlled remotely from long distances, removing the limitations of human pilots when it comes to speed and maneuverability. But that's not all. The Su-57 can also integrate with the latest UAV technology, like the Hunter drone. When paired with a fifth-generation fighter jet, these stealth strike drones can revolutionize combat tactics, opening up new possibilities for effective interaction between pilots and combat robots. The McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. Here is another impressive American fighter aircraft that's been a staple in the skies for decades. This fourth-generation all-weather fighter is meticulously designed for one thing, air superiority. With a top speed of 1,872 miles per hour, it's a force to be reckoned with. Now, one of the most remarkable features of the F-15 is its structural resilience. This aircraft can take a hit like a champ, withstanding the impact of a 20 mm high explosive fragmentation projectile without losing fuel or compromising its integrity. That's some serious durability. When it comes to fuel distribution, the F-15 is strategically organized with six tanks, four in the fuselage and two in the wings. The fuselage tanks are prioritized for their softer nature, ensuring they're produced before the conic wing tanks. To keep the engines running smoothly, the F-15 is equipped with autonomous power systems, complete with individual supply tanks and a refueling system. This contributes to the aircraft's self-sufficiency and overall efficiency in the air. But safety is paramount especially in combat situations. That's why consumable tanks on the F-15 are shielded by protectors capable of withstanding bullets up to 12.7 millimeters in caliber. This minimizes the risk of explosion and ensures the pilot's safety in the heat of battle. For an added layer of protection, all fuel tanks are filled with polyurethane foam, showcasing a comprehensive commitment to safety measures in the design and operation of the F-15. The Su-30. The Su-30 is a Russian double multi-role fighter that's designed to dominate the skies. This aircraft belongs to the fourth-plus generation of fighter jets and is built for air superiority. When it comes to speed, the Su-30 can hit a maximum speed of 1,317 miles per hour. But speed is just one part of the equation for this beast. The Su-30 is designed to take out air targets day or night, no matter the weather conditions. Whether it's a clear sky or a stormy night, this fighter is ready to go. Plus, it can handle active and passive jamming, making it a real headache for enemy radar systems. But the Su-30 isn't just about aerial combat. It's also equipped to block enemy airfields, conduct operations deep behind enemy lines, and even take on land and sea targets. Talk about versatility. And when it comes to firepower, the Su-30 doesn't disappoint. It's armed with a rapid-firing single-barreled cannon, packing a punch with its 30mm caliber. With 150 rounds of ammunition, it's ready to unleash a barrage of firepower when needed. But that's not all. It can also carry up to six medium-range air-to-air missiles, ensuring it can engage multiple targets with deadly accuracy. When fully loaded with its combat gear, the Su-30 can weigh in at a hefty 8,818 pounds. But despite its size and weight, this fighter is agile and maneuverable, capable of pulling off tight turns and evasive maneuvers in the heat of battle. 
Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet, the Boeing F-A-18E-F Super Hornet, an American carrier-based fighter bomber and attack aircraft, represents a significant evolution from its predecessor, the F-A-18 fighter. This aircraft can reach a maximum speed of 1,189 miles per hour. That's pretty impressive for a plane of its size and class. But it's not just about speed. The Super Hornet is practically a whole new aircraft compared to its predecessor. For starters, its wingspan is 20% greater, giving it improved stability and maneuverability. Plus, it's lighter too. With an empty weight of 7,054 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 14,991 pounds, it shed about five tons compared to the F-14 Tomcat fighter. But here's where it gets really interesting. Fuel capacity. The Super Hornet surpasses the original Hornet by a whopping 33%. That means more fuel to burn, which translates to increased combat radius by 41% and flight duration by 50%. Imagine being able to stay in the air longer and cover more ground without needing to refuel. Now let's talk about payload. While the Super Hornet may not exceed its predecessor, the F-14 Tomcat, in terms of payload mass and flight range, it certainly comes close. One interesting thing to note is the versatility of the Super Hornet. It's not just a fighter, it's also a bomber and attack aircraft. This means it can take on various roles in combat, from engaging enemy aircraft to striking ground targets with precision. And speaking of precision, the Super Hornet is equipped with advanced avionics and weapon systems, making it a formidable force on the battlefield. Whether it's engaging in dogfights or launching precision strikes, this aircraft is designed to excel in any mission. The Su-35, this Russian supermaneuverable fighter, is pushing the boundaries of aerial combat. This beast of a jet belongs to the fourth generation category, often labeled as 4++, due to its advanced features and capabilities. The Su-35 can hit a top speed of 1,726 miles per hour. It's one of the fastest jets in the sky. Now the Su-35 is not just a revamped version of its predecessor, the Su-27. It's been deeply modernized to meet the demands of modern warfare. With a largely new reinforced airframe, it's built to withstand the rigors of high-speed flight and intense maneuvers. Plus, unlike the old Su-27M, it doesn't have a front horizontal tail or a brake flap for landing. Instead, braking is achieved by deviating the rudders from the longitudinal axis, giving it improved control during landing maneuvers. But that's just scratching the surface of what the Su-35 has to offer. It's equipped with the IUS-35 Information Management System, giving the pilot access to real-time data and situational awareness. Plus, it's outfitted with electronic warfare equipment, making it a formidable opponent in electronic combat. And if that wasn't enough, it can also be equipped with group electronic protection stations, providing additional defense against enemy electronic warfare tactics. Now let's talk about the cockpit. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. With three multi-screen displays and a holographic indicator on the windshield, the pilot has all the information they need at their fingertips. For extra protection, the Su-35 is equipped with the L-1535 radiation warning system, alerting the pilot to potential threats in the environment. The F-16 Falcon. Here is an American multi-purpose light fighter that's a real powerhouse in the skies. This bad boy belongs to the fourth generation of fighter aircraft and packs quite a punch. First things first, let's talk speed. The F-16 can zip through the air at a maximum speed of 1,317 miles per hour when cruising at an altitude of 4,026 feet. And it's not just about speed. The F-16 is a sleek monoplane with a single engine housed in the aft fuselage. This design gives it excellent maneuverability and agility in the air. Now let's take a closer look at its structure. About 78.3% of the F-16 is made of aluminum alloys, making it lightweight yet sturdy. But that's not all. It also boasts 4.2% titanium alloys, 4.2% carbon fiber, and 3.7% steel. This blend of materials ensures that the aircraft can withstand the rigors of flight while maintaining its performance. But what really sets the F-16 apart is its ease of operation. With 228 hatches and removable panels, maintenance and repairs are a breeze. And let's not forget about the engine. It features a ventral air intake, ensuring that it gets all the air it needs for maximum performance. Plus, the cabin is equipped with a regenerative air conditioning and pressurization system, keeping the pilot comfortable even during intense missions. Now, regarding safety, 
the F-16 is equipped with a McDonnell Douglas ASU-2 ejection seat, providing a quick and safe way out in case of emergencies. This seat can eject the pilot while parked on the ground or flying at speeds up to 683 miles per hour and very high altitudes. And when it comes to control, the F-16 doesn't mess around. Its fly-by-wire control system ensures precise handling with fourfold redundancy. That means even if one system fails, there are backups in place to keep the aircraft flying safely. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, making its debut in 1966, has truly made its mark in aviation history. This sleek aircraft served both the United States Air Force, USAF, and NASA, playing a vital role in reconnaissance and experimental research. Surprisingly, only 32 of these iconic aircraft were ever built, making each one a rare gem. What made the SR-71 stand out was its cutting-edge stealth technology. This allowed it to fly at a phenomenal speed of 2,192 miles per hour, making it nearly invincible in the face of potential threats. Even if detected by enemy forces, the Blackbird could effortlessly outrun interceptors or surface-to-air missiles. Now here's where it gets fascinating. The sheer velocity of the SR-71 created a unique phenomenon. The air in front of it couldn't escape in time, resulting in immense pressure and soaring temperatures reaching several hundred degrees. This extreme environment posed a challenge to the aircraft's structure. In fact, it had to be built in two small pieces to accommodate the expansion caused by the intense heat. Despite such quirks, like its tendency to leak oil when stationary, the SR-71's unparalleled speed and technological advancements solidify its legacy as an iconic and groundbreaking aircraft in the realm of aviation. It wasn't just a marvel of engineering, it was a symbol of innovation and ingenuity. Saab JAS-39, Gripen. Let's dive into the world of the Saab JAS-39 Gripen, a Swedish multi-role fighter that's making waves in the world of aviation. This sleek machine belongs to the fourth generation of fighter aircraft and is built to handle a variety of missions with ease. When the Gripen first hit the scene, it had a bit of a limited arsenal when it came to air-to-air -to -air combat. It could only use short-range missiles like the AIM-9L. But in 1999, things got a serious upgrade when medium-range missiles like the AIM-120 were integrated into the JAS-39. This gave the aircraft the ability to take out air targets beyond visual range, giving it a serious edge in aerial combat. But the Gripen isn't just about air-to-air -air combat. It's a true multi-purpose aircraft, capable of taking on a wide range of missions. In addition to carrying conventional aerial bombs and unguided missiles, it can also carry precision weapons to engage ground and surface targets with pinpoint accuracy. One such weapon is the AGM-65 Maverick, a short-range air-to-surface missile that packs a serious punch. It's used to destroy tactical targets like armored vehicles, air defense facilities, and even small ships. With its precision guidance system, the Maverick can hit its target with deadly accuracy, making it a valuable asset in combat situations. Talking about speed, the Gripen can fly at a maximum speed of 1,367 miles per hour when cruising at high altitudes. Dassault Rafale. This sleek and powerful twin-engine delta-wing combat aircraft was developed by the renowned French aerospace company Dassault Aviation. The Rafale took its maiden flight in 1986 and was officially introduced into service with the French Air Force in 2001. What sets the Rafale apart is its advanced avionics, which include the cutting-edge RB2 Spectra electronic warfare radar and other state-of-the-art sensor systems. Powered by two Mi-88 stealth engines, this aircraft boasts a top speed of Mach 1.8 and an impressive range of over 2,300 miles. When it comes to armament, the Rafale is a force to be reckoned with. It's equipped with a versatile array of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, bombs, a 30mm revolver cannon, and even a modular reconnaissance capsule. This extensive arsenal makes the Rafale a highly adaptable and effective combat aircraft in a variety of missions. Renowned for its agility, versatility, and advanced technology, the Rafale is widely regarded as one of the most advanced and capable fighters in the world. Its exceptional performance and reliability ensure that it will remain a key asset for air forces around the globe for decades to come. The Su-27 Flanker, the Su-27 Flanker, an iconic aircraft that's a testament to Soviet engineering prowess. This beauty of a jet has a top speed of 1,788 miles per hour, pushing the limits of what was possible during the USSR era. 
Now the Su-27 is more than just a fighter jet. It's a symbol of innovation. Equipped with a twin-engine configuration, it was the first Russian jet to feature a fly-by-wire control system, showcasing advancements that were truly ahead of its time. Designed primarily for air superiority, the Su-27 was crafted to rival the capabilities of new American 3.7-generation fighters like the F-15 Eagle. With its formidable 30mm gun and TEM external pylons, it's a versatile platform capable of carrying a wide range of air-to-air -air missiles, from heat-seeking short-range missiles to medium-range missiles. But the Su-27's legacy doesn't end there. Over the years, it has evolved into numerous variants, some of which remain modern even today. Its enduring popularity is a testament to its adaptability and effectiveness in a variety of roles. Since its inaugural flight in 1977, the Su-27 flanker has continued to demonstrate its prowess in the skies. Whether it's engaging in aerial combat or conducting reconnaissance missions, this iconic aircraft remains a symbol of enduring excellence in the world of military aviation. Let's have our subscribers pick for today. Here is America's first ever invincible fighter jet. It's among the new sixth generation fighter jets, which are poised to take a significant leap forward from their fifth generation predecessors. One of the most exciting aspects of this aircraft is the role of artificial intelligence. AI is deeply integrated into every aspect of these aircraft, from flight control to mission planning and execution. It is also expected to feature advancements in stealth technology, making it even harder to detect by enemy radar. Plus, it'll have enhanced sensor suites, giving pilots unparalleled situational awareness and the ability to track multiple targets simultaneously. Little wonder it's tagged invincible. While this fighter isn't in use yet, many have been wowed by the ingenuity and creativity used in its creation. Do you believe this fighter jet is indeed invincible? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. The North American X-15. The North American X-15 holds the current world record for the fastest manned aircraft. Back on October 3, 1967, this incredible machine reached an astonishing maximum speed of 4,443 miles per hour, all thanks to its skilled pilot, William J. Pete Knight. Now what's fascinating about the X-15 is how it managed to stay stable at such super high velocities. It had this big wedge tail, which helped keep it on course. However, this design also caused a lot of drag at lower speeds. To get around this, the X-15 was carried up to an altitude of about 4,941 feet by a B-52 Stratofortress before being dropped. Once released, it ignited its engines, blasting off like a rocket. But that's not all. The X-15 was pushed to such extreme speeds that it had to ditch traditional methods of steering. Instead of relying on drag over fins, it used rocket thrusters to maneuver. This innovative approach allowed it to reach altitudes higher than 62 miles, setting yet another world record. In fact, the X-15 holds three significant records that etched it into the history books. Firstly, it was the first operational space plane. Secondly, it soared to a height of more than 62 miles, reaching the edge of space. And finally, it flew at speeds exceeding six times the speed of sound, hitting a staggering 5,099 miles per hour. General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark The General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark is a remarkable aircraft that made its mark as a tactical bomber rather than a fighter. This versatile plane showcased its capabilities with a top speed of 1,902 miles per hour before it was retired in 1998. One of the standout features of the F-111 Aardvark was its versatility. Equipped with nine hardpoints and two weapon bays, it could carry a variety of payloads to suit different mission requirements. Whether it was nuclear bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, or a 2,000-round machine gun, the F-111 Aardvark was ready for action. But what really set the F-111 Aardvark apart was its innovative variable-sweep wing configuration. This groundbreaking design allowed the wings to adjust their angle during flight, optimizing performance for different speeds and altitudes. In fact, the Aardvark was the first aircraft in production to feature this design. Despite encountering challenges, particularly in its carrier-based operations testing, the F-111 Aardvark still managed to achieve success in various trials. These instances underscored the aircraft's pioneering role in aviation technology and its adaptability to diverse mission profiles. Mikoyan MiG-31, Foxbat. Mikoyan MiG-31. Foxbat is a real speed demon in the skies, boasting a mind-blowing top speed of 2,153 miles per hour. 
What's even more fascinating is that this jet was once available for tourist flights, giving civilians a taste of its incredible performance. Now let's talk about what makes the MiG-31 so special. With its enormous twin engines, each generating a thrust of 152 kilonewtons, it's capable of flying at supersonic speeds both at high and low altitudes. Originally designed as a Soviet interceptor, the MiG-31 was built to take out enemy aircraft, and it's got the capabilities to do just that. With a combination of active and passive radars, four Foxhounds can work together to control a front of 500 kilometers in length. But what about firepower? The MiG-31 is armed to the teeth, with a 23mm gun and up to 2,060 rounds under the fuselage. Plus, it can carry a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, including the heavy R-33 or the long-range R-37 on pylons. Whether it's short-range IR missiles or special medium-range air-to-air missiles for high-speed targets, the MiG-31 has got it covered. Production of the MiG-31 ended in 1994, but the exact number of aircraft built remains a bit of a mystery. Estimates suggest that between 400 and 500 MiG-31s were produced, but it's hard to say for sure. What we do know is that the MiG-31 is still going strong, serving in the Russian and Kazakhstan Air Forces to this day. McCoy, MiG-25, Foxbat. The McCoy MiG-25 Foxbat was a Soviet marvel designed to intercept American aircraft during the Cold War era, particularly targeting high-speed reconnaissance planes like the SR-71 and slow-flying surveillance aircraft. This jet was all about speed, boasting an impressive top capability of 20,435 miles per hour. Unlike the SR-71, which was primarily a reconnaissance aircraft, the Foxbat was built as an interceptor, armed with four air-to-air -air missiles. While it never managed to shoot down a Blackbird, it did see success in other combat missions. For example, during the Iran-Iraq War, the MiG-25 was deployed effectively. Between 1964 and 1984, over 1,000, 100 Foxbats were built, showcasing the Soviet Union's commitment to air defense during the Cold War. However, today, its use is limited, with only a handful of countries still operating this iconic aircraft. Russia, Syria, Algeria, and Turkmenistan are among the few remaining users of the MiG-25. Despite its limited use today, the MiG-25 Foxbat remains a symbol of Soviet engineering prowess and a reminder of the tense atmosphere of the Cold War era. Its impressive speed and interceptor capabilities made it a formidable opponent in the skies, even if it never managed to take down the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. The BX-2 Starbuster The BX-2 Starbuster, an extraordinary American research aircraft, took its maiden flight in 1955 and wrapped up its service in 1956. It was part of the X-2 program, which aimed to explore the behavior of aircraft flying at speeds exceeding 1,522 miles per hour. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Starbuster was its sleek design, featuring a swept-back wing that minimized air resistance. This allowed the aircraft to achieve an astounding speed of 2,432 miles per hour in 1956. However, this triumph was marred by tragedy. Shortly after reaching this incredible velocity, pilot Milburn G. Apt attempted a sharp turn, causing the aircraft to lose control and tumble. Despite his efforts, Apt was unable to regain command of the aircraft and had to bail out. Tragically, only the small parachute of the escape shuttle opened, leading to a high-speed impact upon hitting the ground. This fatal crash brought a premature end to the Starbuster program, but it left behind a legacy of ambitious exploration and the inherent risks of pushing the boundaries of aeronautical capabilities. The X-2 program paved the way for future research into high-speed flight, contributing valuable insights into the challenges and dangers of pushing aircraft to their limits. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.